Good morning, everyone. So um, just looking at the history, I posted up the video for today up on the Facebook page. Uh, looking at that, I'm going, geez, I've only got five days of videos ahead of me, so I'm going to have to make a whole bunch of them here. Um, if you're looking at calendar down here and the clock, you see that today is President's Day. Um, so most of the places uh, are closed, although I'm still working uh, in a secondary capacity with a client who's got uh, troubles and had troubles for the last 10 days. So um, it's just a matter of piece by piece, part by part. We do this for computers when they come in too. If we can't figure out what it is, we start going through it part by part, trying to figure out where's the issue. Um, of course, that particular client is a very much more complex uh, system. I am not a um, system engineer in that regards. I'm just there as support. Uh, because the primary people who do that stuff, uh, you know, are states away and therefore I'm just the hands for these support people uh, along with working with other ones. But anyways, needed to pop off uh, a few of these videos. Um, if you remember, today is a snowy day. Uh, so hopefully business with half my business clients being closed today because of the holiday. Of course, it is a snowy day. I'm going to see if I can pop off a whole bunch of videos today. Um, these are probably going to be short videos, uh, just information. Um, if you look at this, my screen looks a little bit different because I am actually using the uh, my actual desktop desktop, not the virtual studio, because the programs I'm going to show you uh, in the next series of videos um, actually need to be able to read the computer live. I can't do it through a virtual machine. So one of the things that you know if your computer starts acting up and i know this is something that i see everyone does and there's nothing wrong with it they start troubleshooting it on their own uh, you know it's kind of like my car is making this hum 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 sound and you start looking all around you know is it a tire or whatever it's just human nature i get that and i see this a lot with my clients with their computers too so if you're noticing that your computer is kind of slowing down or locking up or freezing it could be any number of things, um, but probably the first thing you might want to check, especially if it's over three years old, you might want to look at the hard drive. Um, that is, for the most part, for every computer, the most consistent fail point ever. So I'm going to show you what I use. I use a couple of different programs. One of the use programs I use is Crystal Disk. Now, this is going to look funny because it's made by an Asian person, I believe. I don't know what nationality, so please excuse the reference that way, but it's from the East. Um, but it's called Crystal Disc. Maybe it's just because they like anime. Uh, so Crystal Disc, and if you're, you know, kind of a, a techie person, you've probably heard of it. So there, there it is. So Crystal Disc information, um, you can go to their website, make sure you're going to their legitimate website. It looks like this. Uh, hence the reason why I said anime stuff um, and then of course they've got different variations but I'm not into anime so I'm going to take the standard edition so you come here and you click download uh, and then you'll want to take the installer um, this program is has been around forever uh, and so even though it says Vista um, it means Vista and forward. So that's Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10. Uh, click it, download it. Uh, once it's finished downloading, you can install it. And once it installs, you should get an icon on your desktop that looks like this. Um, if it's not, look in your um, search box. Or if you don't have the search box, you have the magnifying glass, the same thing. You just type in crystal. It should pop up like so. So you open this up and yes, we're going to do the uh, allow it to make changes. It's not going to make changes. It's actually just going to look at stuff. So this is going to look at your hard drives. Now, as you know, I've got multiple hard drives in my computer. Um, this is a eight, er, yeah, an eight terabyte hard drive for, this is for the virtual machines. Uh, this is an eight terabyte for client backups. This is my primary, um, hard drive that's my replacement for this yes i did get the replacement for it um and so if you watched yesterday's video you probably seen me do the the cloning process and i learned a valuable lesson on that about making sure you stop the video on the obs software before you reboot um but yeah this is what you're looking at and if for the average person 
you're looking for this number, you're looking at this right here. I mean, the rest of this is interesting stats. So if there's one critical failure, it'll show for one particular thing, it'll show up here and it'll reflect it up here. But overall, this is what you're looking for. Um, so yeah, that's what, that's what you're looking for in your hard drives. If you start seeing, you know, this is good 100%. Obviously, these have been used for uh, not quite a year yet, so they're just showing good. And, of course, this is a mechanical drive. That's why it has more options than the SSD. Same with this. Uh, temperature. Um, it is good look at the temperatures for hard drives, um, especially if you're in a warm environment. Sometimes, um, you know, you're, you're working at a... A garage and it's in the middle of summer and you know maybe it's 250 degrees outside okay maybe not that hot but you know what I'm saying it's a hot sunny day um, you're working in the garage you've got your computer there for research um, yeah check the temperatures I know this is in Celsius you can do a quick Celsius to Fahrenheit conversion through your phone um, but that will tell you you know where you're at so hard drives typically should not go above 50c um, unless it is in a hot environment and, and usually because that just kind of burns out the hard drives faster um, you know SSDs run a little bit warmer so it's like 55 60 uh, but even then that's really really hot um, for a hard drive so yeah this is 30 is about where they're supposed to be which is like body temperature um, I think 36 is closer to body temperature 39 it's just a little over body temperature so yeah this is this is a normal normal temp form but you know they start pushing up to the 50 55 60 range definitely start watching it for you know just to see because turn it off let it sit for a while let the whole system cool down turn it back on open this up kick it off to the side and do other things and see if that temperature at what what program or what software or what you're doing that's kicking that temperature up because if it starts going really high um like i said then that's either if the system's getting too warm you might have to add a hard drive cooling system yes they do make those um uh, or you know its environment is too hot or on a mechanical drive um these do produce heat because they spin um, and so you might have where the motors are are trying to spin faster to catch up and hopefully the airs will show up here um i've seen the uh, you know all my drives are relatively new so i'm not going to show you any airs there but yeah the if there are airs that start popping up it's generally in this area <clears throat> so and you'll see yellows and reds and if that's causing the motor to spin faster that's drawing in more power therefore generating more heat so yeah this is just a quick way of looking at your hard drives and your hard drive temps uh, point of failure on almost every computer the hard drives give out before anything almost always perfect example so yeah um, like I said if you're just gonna generally if you just want to look to look like I said you're gonna go over to um, yeah over to crystalmark.info uh, like I said you can find them on Google you just type in crystal disk info it should be the very first one that pops up um, and that will check your you know your hard drives uh, and give you some information uh, how this information works for you eh, it's really you know if you're kind of techy and you know what to do then obviously this will help you if this gives you like um, average poor bad bad is bad um, you know and it looks like it's gonna be something beyond your expertise or what you feel comfortable doing give us a call will take care of you so but that's a little video on how to use crystal disk I've got other software here I want to demonstrate um, like I said this is just one of the many tools we use this program is free although uh, like everyone else is free um, kick a few dollars to the developer I mean they put the time and effort into building this software for people to use if you got a couple of dollars to spare I think on their link somewhere is a um, website to, or, uh, a link to donate um, but again up to you if you don't feel comfortable doing it that way that's perfectly fine I get that so um, yeah that's just my thoughts on, and this is one of the many programs that we use I, I mean we've talked about other ones like smart defrag by IOBit um, again another program that we use for 
looking at um, hard drives and uh, I don't know it gives you information that you might find valuable so if you found this useful like share subscribe if you don't have a YouTube account or a Google account you can always find us over on Facebook uh, that's all I does give us a look thumbs up uh, either here or there doesn't matter um, computer problems there's our phone number down here give us a call if you're in our service area we can come to you um, or if you want to schedule a time to drop it off so we can look at it and fix it for you be glad to do that too so like I said you guys have a great day stay safe on the roads today